amazing sun shall pierce the night. So we are home from church and I just got our Sunday dinner made. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got made. So today we are having squash. Squash, yep. Some fried squash, some baked sweet potatoes, applesauce, mixed grains, and toast. And so everybody's digging in. What do you think about squash? You don't know. <laughs> what do you think about the squash? You like it? I think it's awesome. You like it? Dad, you like the squash? Mm -hmm. Yay! I haven't tried squash. I don't make fried squash often because it's very time consuming mm -hmm. and it's fried. But I had some squash and I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want to broil it really with onion and stuff like I usually do. So I fried it up. Yummy! Possibly do. Hi. <laughs> We're watching John MacArthur. Mason and Daddy are playing do. chess. Okay. We put Mason likes to do all day, every day. <laughs> I, I, I can do this day and night. I know you can. Staying in the week at night. <laughs> and pasta, pasta, more bread. Hang on. I wanted to show you guys what I used for the grains. This is a blend of buckwheat, millet, red quinoa, and white quinoa. It's organic, and I got this from Aldi, although Aldi sometimes has it and sometimes they don't. And it's um, that's all that's inside of it. I love this. It's so good. So I'm always on the lookout for it. So if you guys have an Aldi nearby, check it out. We had to wait till this evening because it's super hot. And Maddie's finally happy because she gets to come to the park. <laughs> Good job. Oh yeah, you can swing yourself. You don't even need daddy. Swing yourself. Keep it going like that. Good job. We get a little ouch. <laughs> it feels like a swinging couch chair. <laughs> yeah. Why like, like dragon tape? <laughs> she likes this, but when she's a baby, she hates it. I, I feel like I'm on an airplane. <laughs> I feel like I'm on an airplane. Why? <laughs> 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 Oh, you got done on camera, didn't you? Are you ready for this? I'll take it. Draft me, bro. 
question. Are you hot? No. <laughs> Woo, your face is red. Right. That's when we go play. But go play. So we are home, and we had to take Gavin to his dad's tonight. So we did a little bit of time at the park, and then we took Gavin home to his dad's. He has to be at school tomorrow morning at 7.15, which is quite early. So, um, he's gonna, he went home tonight. Um, and I did take a short nap this afternoon. We're at a chocolate pudding. There's some yogurt and there is some fruit and there is also some, you want some of that? Yeah. All right. Uh, so I did take a little bit of a nap this afternoon. Which was good. But overall, the cat's in the house. The cat has to get out of the house. Jake, did you feed him? I set the bag out. The bag's outside. Um, anyway, so Max lives outside, you guys. A lot of you have asked about Max and where he's been. He lives outside. When we had to put him outside, um, long time ago when he got fleas really badly and uh, we in the the fleas actually got in the house and we had to like have the house treated and it was like a big 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 ordeal but during the time that he was outside he sort of became an outdoor cat <laughs> I don't know how else to put it he got a little bit aggressive in nature and uh, was we tried to bring him back in after he was treated and everything, but he was very aggressive toward Maddie and aggressive with the kids. And so that was that. Um, but he does fine outside. Um, and it's about to go dead. Uh, what was I saying? So anyway, I did no housework. Obviously, it's Sunday, but does anybody else's house get like kind of upside down if you take one day off? Look at this. Just like this <laughs> is Fort Central. So Mason and the boys and even dad helped him do this last night. But they built this like ginormous fort of some sort. And I don't know. That's what we're dealing with here. Lots of mess. So I told him... He is most definitely going to have to deal with that tonight. And, um, I don't know. I feel a little bit nauseous. And I really don't know why. A little nauseated. Just tired. I don't really feel like doing, um, any housework. So I probably won't. I'll turn it down. And then you got to get ready for bed. It's late. It's almost nine. Is it nine? Nine and five. And Maddie is having some fruit before she has to get ready for bed. So, anywho, tomorrow is Monday. And I don't have a ton of plans at the moment. Some errands. Um, something on my chair. I'm going to run some errands and homeschool and do some housework. So, I may just save all this housework till tomorrow, although I really don't want to wake up to it. Hi guys, good, it's not Sunday, Monday morning. Monday. It's Monday morning and today is the eclipse day. So we are busy doing some homeschool projects um, to be able to look at the solar eclipse. And so we are making pinhole viewers, right? Yeah! So the eclipse is supposed to start in our area right at about 1.16, I think, and then it's supposed to last the fullest part, the 97% eclipse. We're supposed to have a 97 cent, 97, I need coffee, 97% eclipse. So that's supposed to take place at 2.45, I believe. So we are um, up and busy getting our pinhole viewers made. So these are little um, cereal box projects. So basically, what you do is you trace the bottom of this box, empty cereal box, on white paper and cut it out. Then you put it down in the bottom of the box. 
Okay, and then you uh, cut out two sections of the top and tape the flaps down. And then you're going to tape um, aluminum foil over one end and then make a tiny pinhole. And then this side is going to be the side that we're going to use to view it. So what you do is you aim, you aim the pinhole portion of it at the sun. Now, um, it, the meteorologist that I watched said that you would have to play with it to get in the right spot. But you basically aim it at the sun. And then in here is where you will put your face and it'll be a projector. So you can actually see on the white uh, piece of paper, you'll be able to watch the eclipse like a projector screen. It'll be really cool. So I'm gonna let the kids um, decorate their boxes with like construction paper and pictures of the eclipse and um, I'm getting ready to print some off and we still have several hours so we, we're good on time. Just so happens I'm completely out of aluminum foil so I'm gonna have to go get some aluminum foil but the dollar store is just like less than five minutes down the road so we'll just Listen, run down and get some aluminum foil from the dollar store and then we will finish our boxes. So um, homeschool today is all about solar eclipse which we're excited about and then we'll um go somewhere to watch it there is a garden down the road i don't know if they are charging people to get in but um there is a garden um down the road that is really big and they're having like a, a viewing party so i don't know if it's going to be incredibly slam we may just end up be going to like an open field in a park or something like that to oh. view this um really fun event because this is not something that we get to see all the time and it's a really good learning opportunity Go! yesterday i let the kids watch a video of what a solar eclipse actually is and so oh guess what we went to the park yesterday yeah we did go to the park yesterday so it's gonna be fun isn't yeah, it yeah can we go to the park um today since he said we're going to go to the park We again. may go to the park because it has open fields and we could probably view the solar solar eclipse better out there. Out there. we got to find a good spot. Oh, yay! We have too many tall trees in our neighborhood. We wouldn't be able... In our neighborhood, it's an old neighborhood. So it has tons of trees and they are really, really tall. We couldn't even get satellite TV out here because the trees in our neighborhood, there's just they're just too many. So we're going to drive out and see if we can find a big open field where the sun is uh, right above. And um, you, guys, did you, did you look at that, um, did you look at that tree falling? Yeah, that was a tree that fell. What, baby? Uh -huh. I said, you know, at the Castle Park, mm -hmm. you, you can get a really nice view. You, like, you know, like where you go on and, and then yeah. like you climb up and then. Oh, yeah, yeah, view. yeah. That would be kind of cool, huh? So that's the plan for the day, and we're kind of excited if you um, couldn't tell. It's 10.30 right now. We've um, kind of gotten ourselves ready, and I haven't done many chores like I usually do. I usually try to have some chores going and stuff, but that will save for a little bit later today. And, um, you know, I'm one of these mamas who procrastinated getting the solar eclipse glasses and didn't do that. So, we are going to do the pinhole viewers. And I'm wondering if maybe I should attempt to uh, yeah, video it. I don't know, video it in some way, but still, there's still the, the chance of eye damage and Can stuff. Can you open it, mommy? Yeah, just a sec. So, we'll see. I'm having a chocolate. First, I'm gonna have some coffee. This is my first cup of the day. I mean, guys. Have some honey guys, that I put in it. Guys, like I always eat chocolate muffins. Chocolate muffins. I'm using French vanilla creamer, and today I am having cafe special. Pick up. Jake, left the there. bathroom light on. I'll turn it off this time, but you need to remember. All right, you guys, we are done with our pinhole viewers, and let me show you guys what we what we did. We're gonna run out and get our tin foil, and um, I have to check the PO box. So here is Mason. Mason has some suns. His glasses, guy. His name. Another sun. We got two suns right here. Good job. Awesome. Jake. 
did not decorate his yet, but he did make one, so we still have to finish okay. that. Bring it down, bring it down so we can see. Okay. Here's mine. <laughs> look, I put look, my guys. name on the side and this on the guys, back. Guys, look. Here's Maddie's. You did a great job. All right, be careful with it. Yeah. We don't want this to cave, right. cave in. Yeah. All right, so we've got a nice big mess on our homeschool table here, which we is a lot of cutting. Which is okay with <laughs> us for now. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and run out and get what we need to get. Should be right above us. All right, you guys, we are headed out to the park. We are gonna see if we can catch this eclipse. Um, it looks like it is getting a little bit dusky looking, so I think it's beginning and uh, we got about 30 minutes until it should be almost completely eclipsed. So we're running a little behind. I had to do some work for my husband and it put me a little behind, so I'm kind of panicky, but um, well, we, live like two we live two minutes from the park, so I'm not stressing about it. So we're gonna go spread out, get ready. We're gonna work on our um, pinhole viewers and make sure that we can get them lined up with the sun. Oh, there's lots of people out here. Wow. All right, so hopefully we can find a spot. Okay, let's see this. All right, let's go watch. Found it. All right, you guys, we're here. We're at the park, we have our blanket out. And we are using our pinhole viewer. So, okay, look. let me see if I can show you guys. It's really cool. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down. Um, let's see, if this is, is this gonna work? We don't know. There might be too much sun. Oh, wait a minute. Do you see it? So, okay, so this is how it works. Well, I see it. And then we'll be able to, yeah, you'll be able to see the eclipse happen well, right there, just like a projector. Hey, everybody, everybody, use, it, use ours. Let's not see it. Use yours. Everybody, use ours. All right, Maddie, you got yours? Uh, yeah. What is it? It's Mustang? Yeah, Mustang. <laughs> I see it. I see it. I see it. Oh, I found it. Can you see it? So the temperature is already dropping. It's absolutely beautiful. It's beautiful. beautiful. Like it used to be really, really hot, and now the humidity is going down. Oh, I'm sure that, that we've dropped quite a bit as far as um, temperature goes. Mom, I just see it. So we're gonna go ahead and have some lunch. We brought some sandwiches and some chips and some cookies and moon pies. We all have moon pies. <laughs> we have moon pies. There's so many bought cart for. Why are they going so fast, Mark? Here, hold this, bub. Mommy, I see it. You see it? You have to hold it down like this. There so goes the Mustang. Oh, I think he's about to peel out. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh Manny, yours works good. Let me see. Let me see it. All right, put your eye on it. I see it. You see it? <laughs> you see the sun, The moon starting to cover the sun? Oh, There's a little piece of it out. I don't see the sun. Okay. Hers works good. Your camera's a lot better than mine. Come Huh? Right, let's see if I can do it. So there's the sun. You can't see the piece missing on camera, but there is a piece missing. Yeah, there is. It's like a circle. Let me see. It's going on the sides. You gotta hold it down. You have to hold it down where the sun can go through the pinhole. Uh. Now it's gone. Got it. <laughs> you know what I liked about this? What? You know what I liked about this project? What? Decorating and coloring. Yeah, that was so. fun, wasn't it? Guys, yeah, look, it's empty. You got it? Yeah. You got to play with it so you can find it. All right, so I don't know if the camera is going to get much of this, but um, it's Mom. starting to get really dusky out here. Mommy. Yeah, look Mommy. down there. Down there, down there, you can see it really good. Mom. I'm Mom. pointing this up, but I'm not really looking at it, so I don't know if you guys can see. Mom. Oh yeah, you can see it perfectly. Anything. Oh wow. All right, okay. I have no clue, but the, you're looking right now in through my. Mommy, there's the monster truck. This there's is my pinhole. Shh, hang on. All right, this is the pinhole viewer. It's really awesome. Hi guys, so it's been a long time since I picked up the camera to vlog, but I figured that I better update you before I forget. So the reason I have not been vlogging is because I have gotten myself into a mess, but it was a necessary mess, and I'll tell you why. So if you will notice, I have 
a bookshelf back there that used to be right over there. And so it is now over here beside the piano and it has some books on it and things there. I have also moved the other bookshelf and I have taken it upstairs. And the reason for that is I need desperately somewhere for the baby's clothes. And um, right now <laughs> we have no flexibility in our finances to purchase one. So I really needed to move um, that bookshelf with the pull-out bins upstairs to the bedroom for now to have really nice organization for the baby's things. It was necessary. I also like to use the space uh, beside the fireplace um, for Christmas trees around Christmas time. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to get it done. I'm just going to get it done. So today I did, I just got it done. And you know what? I actually really, really, really felt like it was a little too cluttered up there anyway, and I didn't quite like it, so I like the way it's kind of emptied out. Um, it also sort of frees up some space if I needed to use, you know, either side for like um, a small uh, pack and play or um, just as kind of like a storage for like a rock and play or something like that down here since this is not super huge um, it did free up a good bit of space up there on that ledge because that's a pretty big ledge um, and that's a good bit of square footage so anywho I'm working I'm working and working and working and I really truly um I don't really have the energy for it but like I said it needed to be done and so I'm just trying to put things where they need to be and organize and it's a process right it does well I sure hope it has she hasn't had an accident we'll check it out all right I'll check it out so anyway that's what I've been doing you guys and I am like completely beat tired jimmy just ran out to pick up like some tacos and go to the bank atm so um there's just a lot going on and he was begging me to go with him but i told him that i really 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 just need desperately to stay here and just try to get as much of this done as possible since i have a doctor's appointment tomorrow <coughs> And when That's the box where I wanted to watch a movie. Oh, you wanted to go through this one? Okay. Well we will in just a sec. No. Um and I set these out for you so you can look at them. So whenever I get in the middle of one of these types of projects, I am like a mad woman until I get it finished and I will stop at nothing. And I actually got fussed at by my husband for help for moving furniture. He was taking a nap after work and I had Jacob helping me, but nonetheless, I was moving furniture, and he fussed at me, so I got in trouble by him, and it was warranted. It really was, but you know, being the stubborn woman that I am, I didn't wake him up or wait till he got up. I just decided that, hey, I'm just going to do this and do it now <laughs> because that's how I operate. Mom. Isn't that silly, but Mom. oh well. Did you, did you know I found this, found this bottle in here? You did. Yeah. All right, so now to finish, or at least get mostly finished with this project. I'm going to keep working. I've got Belle's crate to figure out. All this junk, random junk that kind of needs a home. My husband's area needs to be fixed and organized and... He still needs this to keep the books and stuff he works on at night and reads. So we will we will figure it out one way or another. It's gonna get done. <laughs> and I've got Jake going into his first day of challenge one. Are you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> and he is at a new community this year, so we're gonna yeah. walk him in. It's 8:30 and we got a little turned around so we did a little little tiny bit of extra driving but it's quite the ways out here it's about 40 minutes away from our house so we are gonna walk jake in make sure he gets to where he needs to go and maybe i can convince him to take a little first day of school pick